All right, today we are installing a windshield on the uh, Honda Talon. And uh, the only tools you'll need is a 7 16 inch wrench and a Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, this has, this is a mar resistant coating, so it has this white coating on it. If you have the non mar resistant windshield, then it's uh, got a little bit more of an opaque coating on it. So what we want to first start with is, uh, I mean, I always recommend that you install this into place, put it into position, and make sure you like everything before you remove any protective plastic. Because as long as the protective plastic's attached, then, uh, then it's returnable. Once the protective plastic is removed, it's no longer returnable. And you just want to just peel this bottom coating off because that's all we're going to install right at this second. We're going to set it up here into position. You can even lay it up against there like that. I actually kind of find it easier to set it down. Oh, by the way, I installed the uh, dash bumpers before, so I'll still go through that. Okay. And we're going to put that one there. We're going to get our bolt nut and lock washer and our first bracket. And I'm uh, going to put that guy on there. And as you put these, this uh, first clamp on, two things here. First, the clamp sits right underneath this weld. So if you're on top of that weld, so right now we're gonna, it's gonna be kind of almost be at an angle because we haven't pushed it down yet. So it's gonna be below that weld. Very important thing. Also, second most important thing, don't tighten up the bolts. We have not gotten to the point of tightening bolts, so leave them loose. If you tighten them, you will fight this entire windshield in an installation aspect and probably have it off center. So, don't do that. Put them on loose. Follow just like what I'm doing. Stick this one on. Okay, now that we have them both on, the reason why you want to keep them loose is because you want to center this thing. It almost, there's this little gap between the roll bar right here where these two roll bars join. Basically centered in that gap. Um, and so, you want to get your center like that and if you tighten down one of the bolts you can't shift the windshield from left to right so now that we have that what i'm going to do is i'm going to push down tightly on the windshield compressing it down i'm just i'm just shoving down i mean you can push down from up here however you want you're going to push that down we're going to make sure our clamp is nice and straight this is an angled roll bar so you gotta kind of do that now once we get this one on we're gonna go ahead and tighten up these bottom ones then we'll worry about the top guys we're not even putting the top guys on so cinch that guy down nice and tight right there come over to this side do the repeat the exact same thing push this down Get it tightened up a little bit and then straighten out your clamp. Cinch this down nice and tight. And we're done with most of the installation process to be real honest, because that's, uh, that's, the, that's the hardest part right there. But it's important that you have this down below this part right here, because if not, you're not gonna have a nice tight seal across the hood. And you're going to have to put a little force onto it to push it down tight, because just sitting there on top will not do that. Now this next bracket sits right underneath. Both of these brackets sit right underneath the wells. And now that we've got the bottom set, we can go ahead and, because uh, this windshield's not gonna move now. So we can just go ahead and tighten this guy right up. Before you get them too tight, just make sure your clamp looks nice and straight. And 
And that still gives you access to those two bolts if there's anything you need to hook onto. And there's a bit of a gap between there. So it shouldn't be any issue with any additional hardware. Most mirrors that I've seen that hook onto those have a pretty low fo profile bracket that fix fits inside of them. So I would assume that to be the same with uh, anything that were to go on this. So, okay. So our bottom is now connected. So once we have that connected, we can hook up our center support bracket. You have this center clamp in the uh, in the center here that that uh, it's welded onto the roll bar. So this is going to go to the passenger side of that. Obviously, your center support bracket is going to be slightly off centered because of that support, but it works well that way. So that's not uncommon at all. So we're going to put the bolt on, obviously nut and lock washer. And then I don't recommend cinching this one down. It's pretty much all the way over to that bracket though. So you can pretty just much move it all the way over the bracket. I like to tighten it up once I get the windshield up just because uh, I get a better fixation and all that. Okay, so now that we've got that done, remove our protective coating. Um, I'm trying to get the windshield up as high as possible. So I made it a little bit higher in the roof. So as you see, you need to just put a little, as it goes down, put a little pressure up and you're set. So your center support bracket, you want that to go in first because it's actually going to push the windshield out slightly off of the roll bar, just slightly, but it's very hard to connect this with uh, the windshield in place. And also a little note, it's easier to connect it off the passenger side because the bracket is moved this way of center. So it's a shorter distance. So that was, that's how we're gonna ride with it like that. Um, and then we've got our Velcro straps, smooth side facing you, smooth side. Fuzzy side, smooth side. Smooth side facing you, clip to the front. That one goes down there like that. And obviously you can see how that functions. I'm not going to do the other side because I think you can figure that all out. It's just like that. And do the reverse, we're gonna do the exact same thing over there. Take those off. And remove this. So we're gonna, it, it's warm. We wanna take down the windshield or um, it's dusty or we're going to be traveling. The windshields are all designed to be traveled uh, in the down position. So we're gonna tilt that windshield forward, throw our little lock washer and wing nut onto here. Now, what you, would want, what you wanna do is you put these straps, again, smooth side facing you, clip to the front, through that slot, okay? And that slides downside of there. Second strap, smooth side facing you, clip to the front, spin it around the roll bar like that. Now, what we're going to do is we're gonna just pull these really loose to begin with. So, we're just gonna pull them down just a little bit. And this is where, when you pull it down softly, this is where we would install the four bumpers that, that are provided. Now those four bumpers go right here so that this is wrapping over the top edge of that and right there so it's wrapping over the top edge of, of this piece of the plastic. Therefore, thereby protecting it. All the rest of the way across, you're, uh, you're just hanging on those two points. Once you have your bumper set, which you don't, you don't want to pull your windshield down tight until you do, is we're going to take this back strap and we're going to pull it out. So we're pulling it away from the vehicle and we're pulling the other one into the vehicle. And we're going to strap it like that. And the reason why we want to make sure these Velcro straps are set this way is because these two are opposing each other, so basically I have a double Velcro. 
This strap is Velcro to this one, this one's strapped, so it makes it, you can see, I am lifting on that. It's very, very hard to move that windshield. You can beat the crap out of this, drive it down the road. I know, I know it goes 75 miles an hour. It's gonna hold right where you got it right there. And so, it's basically all there is to it. From this point, a couple things. Um, one, sometimes if you have a more resistant one, just to throw it out, didn't happen to be on this one, sometimes you'll get a little bit of a, a glue that actually sticks on the windshield, just a slight bit, um, and it, it's, it, it remains sometimes on the windshield a little bit. Uh, it's part of our bending process, you have to heat them a little bit. Uh, what you want to do is just rinse it off with a little bit of uh, hot uh, water and Dawn in a bucket. Uh, your regular maintenance of your windshield, no matter what kind of windshields you bought, you always want to use water to wash it off with. Uh, clean it with a clean microfiber cloth. Never, ever, ever use Windex or any kind of cleaners like that. Never use paper towels. It's the most destructive thing to it. Rinse it off with water, clean it with a clean cloth, and your windshield will look beautiful for years to come. We thank you so much for your business. If you have any questions, give us a call. Thanks.